Southwest Airlines has already canceled more than 2,500 flights today. That's according to Flight Aware with more expected. That includes eight out of the 10 flights scheduled to go in and out of Richmond today, according to the airport's website. Yeah, the company issued an apology to thousands of people who were traveling and announced it's going to try to reduce flights as it tries to get the systems back on track by next week. President Biden tweeting out Tuesday that his administration is working to ensure airlines are held accountable. Jared Hill has more. Post Christmas chaos at the nation's airports after Southwest Airlines canceled more than 60% of its flights for the second day in a row, stranding thousands of frustrated flyers. It's just unacceptable. Everybody knows that during the holidays there's going to be some delays, but just outright cancellations is just not okay. With more cancellations today, some travelers looked for other ways to reach their destinations. We tried to get a train and the train was booked, and then we tried to get a Greyhound bus and that was booked. Uh, so we've got a rental car. In a statement, Southwest offered, quote, heartfelt apologies and said we were fully staffed and prepared for the approaching holiday weekend when the severe weather swept across the continent. Our plan for the next few days is to fly a reduced schedule and reposition our people and planes and we're making headway and we're optimistic to be back on track before next week. Southwest Airlines CEO Bob Jordan issued that video statement saying the company is processing refunds. He also said he's been in touch with the Transportation Secretary, Pete Buttigieg. The secretary told CBS News the situation is unacceptable. Well, I want passengers to know that this department has their back, that we are going to be holding the airline accountable for the way that they are treating passengers. The Senate Commerce Committee says it will probe the causes of the disruption and the impact on consumers. Jared Hill. CBS News, New York.